All right, so this is probably gonna be the most important conversation me and you have on this channel. And it's, should you quit your job? Now, to be honest with you, I get this question a lot. And it's not just about quitting your job, it's like, should you drop out of school? Should you quit what you're doing? All these things come to me because, you know, I'm somebody who dropped out of college. So obviously, a lot of people say, should I take the route? Should I take the leap like you took the leap? And I always have the same answer, which is, it depends. Now, I don't wanna sound cliche, so in this video, what I'm gonna talk about is some of the things you could, should consider if you're gonna quit your job, leave school, or anything like that. Also, the type of mindset you're gonna have to have to be an entrepreneur, and maybe some things that you might not have thought about when it comes to being an entrepreneur. So, I remember a while back when I was first leaving school, I realized something very different about the people who left school and the people who stayed in school. And it was, they had a different mindset or way that they approached life. There's a great video by Bob Proctor, if you're watching his stuff, he talked about there's three ways that people make money. The way you're traditionally used to is probably exchanging time for money, which is you go to job, you have you go to a job, you have a salary, you have a wage, maybe an hourly rate, and you get paid for the time that you go and spend. Well, that's the way that most of us are familiar with, and that's the way most of us approach being, uh, being in business, right? We know that if we can go put our time in, we'll make money. The second way is investing. A lot of us are also familiar with investing, which is basically you may put some money in, then you get a return on investment over time. Hey, I'm gonna take this thousand dollars and flip it for you and make two thousand dollars. You'll get your money back, right? Something like that. Uh, the third way, which is talk about what wealthy people do, is they set up multiple streams of income. Now, this is important because the reason I bring this up is because when it comes to money, there was a there was a general different mindset which wealthy people approach the accumulation of money. Completely different from a person who worked a job, went to nine to five. And this is why a lot of people in my family, they didn't understand this mindset, so they're used to telling you, hey, go get a job to make money, because it's the only way they know how to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying that if you wanna be an entrepreneur, what you also have to understand, there's a general different mindset that you have to get accustomed to if you wanna be successful. And let's explore a little bit of that. Now, one of the biggest mindsets when you leave your job is learning to deal with uncertainty. As an entrepreneur, you're going to have to learn to deal with uncertainty. It's just a fact of life. All the shit that can go wrong with entrepreneurship, it's crazy. I remember sometimes being down to damn near the last dollar in the account before something turned over and made money for me. This is just a fact of life. But let's think about it like this. When you go to your job, you know. You go put in your time, you put in your hours, that paycheck is gonna be there. And a lot of people love that certainty. I know my paycheck is coming, it's easy for me to pay bills. And a lot of people don't wanna deal with the uncertainty of Oh, how's it gonna come this week? If I don't get customers, if I don't get out there, if I don't build something, I don't know how this shit is gonna make money. A lot of people don't wanna deal with that shit. And that's fine, that's fair enough. But I'm telling you, if you're asking yourself should you quit a job, uncertainty is something you're gonna have to become very acquainted with. Now, I don't wanna just be pessimistic about it because the truth is, the reason you're doing this is because you're seeking something hot. And what am I talking about here? Well, true, I've had a lot more uncertainty in my life, but at the same time, I've got a lot more freedom in my life. I'm gonna say that again. I've got a lot more uncertainty in my life, but I also have a lot more freedom in my life because I wake up and I get to decide what my day is. Look, I already know that it's difficult when you quit. When you quit a job, you're going out there on your own, you're looking at all your friends, maybe they're in the club, they're popping the bottles, they're enjoying life, they're paying for stuff, they're getting the new car. All this stuff coming across your timeline is enough to make you sick to your stomach. Say to myself, or say to yourself, damn, did I make a fucking mistake? But I'm gonna tell you in all honesty, no, because you're looking for something higher. See, uncertainty is something that a lot of us don't wanna deal with, but it is the thing, it is the thing that entrepreneurs learn to deal with that allows them to separate themselves from the pack. If you want, if you want to be somebody who quits their job and creates this type of future, this life where you're in control, where you don't have to answer to anybody, then you're gonna have to do this. Maybe you wanna wake up and be the person who sets their own hours. Maybe you want to be able to take a vacation with your fan, friends and family whenever you want. Maybe you're the type of person who wants to be able to spend how you want, live anywhere across the world, do things that people can't do. Maybe you want to be that person. Well, in order to get to that, you have to learn to deal with uncertainty. You want to be the person who is impactful in your family, able to set up a legacy for your future generations. All these things that we talk about that have become cliche at this point, they start with learning to deal with uncertainty. When you go to a job or you look at an entrepreneur, they're just people who learn to deal with uncertainty. I'm on this camera right now. This is a great camera, an affordable camera that produces a very high quality image because some entrepreneur decided to do it. 
there's all kinds of products and stuff on the internet that I'm able to utilize because some entrepreneurs said, I'm gonna figure out a way to do this shit at a price that people can afford. And now we have all these luxuries that allow us to build. Like something like DaVinci Resolve, if you edit, is a basically free software editing program that is professional grade that you can get right now because some entrepreneurs said, you know what, in my business model, I'm gonna just use this program to get them in, but it's gonna get them introduced to my other products and services. I want you to think about that. There's these things that exist right now because an entrepreneur did it, because they thought about creating impact. I'll be honest with you, you just wanna make money, there's all kind of hustles you could do. You could do all kind of hustles just to make money, but in all honesty, if you, unless you wanna create an impact, that other shit is like, okay, just find a way to make some money. There's all kind of little side hustles you can do to make some money. But if you wanna create impact, I would say start there. A lot of people get an entrepreneurship and they quit a job, they don't start with a strong enough why. So when all the uncertainty hits, then all of a sudden they wanna quit and they wanna run back to their job. But I tell people all this, I, well, I tell people this all the time and it's that making money is just another problem to solve. As an entrepreneur, you'll start to realize that, that making money is just another problem to solve. Let me give you a prime example. If you go to a job, the problem of how you make money is already solved. I'm gonna go put my time in and I'm gonna exchange it for money. But in a business, you have to create a system, a business model that generates money consistently. If you sell a product, maybe that's offering multiple products, subscription services, whatever it is, you're solving that problem of making money. Bringing other people in, outsourcing the work, bringing in people to help you with managing the teams, learning how to work with teams, all these are problems that will eventually create a business model and hopefully in the long run, if you stick with it, a sustainable business system that is going to allow you to make money. And once you solve that problem, you're gonna be able to live like most people can. But if you don't have a strong enough why you're doing this shit, you're just doing this to make money, there's ways to make money. There's hustles you can do, there's investments you can do. I know people who have never been an entrepreneur in their life, but they make money. But the thing is, what type of impact you wanna create? Do you wanna do all this shit for your family? Do you wanna be somebody who's influential? Do you wanna be somebody who's like, that person in the community people respect because you built some shit? It's like you're a different type of being. You're a different type of person because you built this shit from scratch. Do you want that badge of honor? To be like, I did this shit. I came up from the bottom. Do you want that? Well, that's what you're gonna have to accept, that uncertainty if you wanna be an entrepreneur. Here's the thing. You gotta get acquainted with fear because that's really what the uncertainty is. You just don't know what's gonna happen next. There's been times in my life where I had no idea what the fuck was gonna happen, but I just dealt with that uncertainty. And as I learned to deal with that uncertainty, I realized that as if I kept pushing forward, if I kept moving forward, things would happen. But if you're a person who's just gonna drop out, you're not gonna put in the work and the hours because you believe some, in some delusional way that just because you wanna be your own boss that it's gonna be easier. In all honesty, it's probably gonna be a lot more difficult when, at the beginning when you first start. When you're first starting off, it's actually a lot more difficult because you have to solve, like I said, this big system, this big problem of how you generate money. And then on the back end, it becomes a lot more easy. So that's something to think about. What type of character, what type of personality do you have? Are you the type to give up? Are you type to deal with fear? Are you type to crumble under pressure? Are you the type that can deal with not having all the answers laid out for you? Do you have to follow a script? All these things are important when it comes to if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're gonna quit your job, because now these things are not laid out for you. Now, you're taking responsibility for every aspect of your life. You're taking responsibility for your hours, you're taking responsibility for what time you get up. You're taking responsibility of how you make money. You're taking responsibility of how you make paychecks. Now, over time, you can get people to come in and help you with these things. But in the beginning, usually you're a beginner, you don't know how to do these things, so it's a lot more difficult and it's a lot more hours. But you can eventually get to the point where you can do shit like this. You can fucking do shit like this. You can live the life you want. You can create a future where you're in control. And that's the biggest thing I want you to understand. Now, the next thing I want you to understand is failure. How you deal with failure is important. Now here's a big thing that a lot of people don't get when it comes to entrepreneurship. You are going to fail. And it's not like these catastrophic failures all the time where you humiliate. It's just, you're gonna do some ideas that don't work. But I want you to understand that all these ideas are building you towards something. You have to understand that the failures lead you to living a life others cannot. I remember when I was in college, I was walking on campus. And I remember walking on campus one day and just looking up and saying, you know, I just want something I can do where I'll be happy and I'll enjoy it for the rest of my life. And I didn't ask for wealth, I didn't ask for riches, I didn't ask for women, I didn't ask for any of those things. I just wanted to be able to do something that I would enjoy for the rest of my life. Well, let me tell you, the next couple of years, I had some of the worst years of my life. 
I went into business, I dropped out of college, I was failing, I was on the floor, on the brink of giving up on everything. I was broken. And I remember crying myself to sleep that night and I saw this symbol back here and had a dream that said, you create the world around you. When I woke from that dream, what changed was I was no longer a victim. I was a different person when I woke up. Night and day, I realized that I had to take responsibility for everything in my life and I had to push it forward. I wasn't complaining, I was just out there. I created the Massive Action Movement, I created the Cineverse, I created my first six-figure product, my first six-figure business, and I'm on the way to seven figures right now. But it was all because I decided to deal with uncertainty. I decided to deal with all the fucked up shit that happened. But all the struggles I went through, I've had friends fuck me over for money, I've lost $50,000 in a single night in business, I've had friends steal $15,000 from me, from me, I've had all these things happen. But all these things helped to make me a better leader a better entrepreneur who could deal with the uncertainty and all the things that were in my way. You have to understand when you go through this that you're gonna be dealing with uncertainty. Things may not always go your way, but it's building you to be somebody who can live a life where you're in control. So I wanna read you this passage. I've read it a lot of times, but I wanna read it here because it's very integral to understanding what I'm talking about when I say becoming the type of person who can be an entrepreneur, who can live a life where you're in control. So let me get this from my photos real quick. It won't take long. Let me just pull it up real quick. All right. And even if you're not a religious person, I think you'll appreciate this poem. I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom and God gave me problems to solve. I asked for prosperity and God gave me brain and brawn to work. I asked for courage and God gave me danger to overcome. I asked for love and God gave me troubled people to help. I asked for favors, and God gave me opportunities. I received nothing I wanted. I received everything I needed. See, a lot of times, we don't trust in the process. There's nothing wrong with having a job, but understanding that once you leave that job, now you have to trust in the process. You have to look at the world around you and say, is this the direction I'm supposed to be going? Do I have a strong enough reason to exist in this space. There's all these times where you can give up, but you're, you're playing a different game. You're an entrepreneur. This is the life you chose. If you want those things, you want to live that life, you want to be the person who has all the nice shit that people respect because they built something, you want to be the person who wants to build a legacy for your family, leave not just, not just money, but information that will help the prosperity of you and your loved ones from generations to come. If you want to be that person, just understand that all the hardships and difficulties you'll go through when you leave that job, when you leave that school, all those things are leading you to becoming a person who can create a future where you are in control. And just like this poem says, you may not receive everything you want on this journey. When I was at my mother's house, I didn't have everything I wanted, but I did have everything I needed. I had everything I needed to start building. I didn't always have the best stuff. I had everything I needed to get started. I didn't always have the best people around me. But I had everything I needed to get started. And as I become more and more successful, I learned to lean and trust that process even more. I learned to understand that I'm approaching this world with a different mindset because I'm an entrepreneur. If I went to a job, there's a different way. And there's nothing wrong, there's no shame in that. But realize, that if you're gonna quit your job, you have to accept that this is a completely different mindset, a completely different way of looking at the world. You have to accept the old ways that are looking, that you looked at the world have to be destroyed. And you have to start trusting in the process that if you ask to become somebody who has complete freedom in your life, if you ask to become somebody who can live on their own terms, you don't have to punch a clock. If you ask for these things, you're gonna be given difficulties that force you to become the person you want to be. So you can create a future where you are in control. Perceive everything you want by going through that journey. Take that leap of faith. If you stick with it, you can become the person you really wanna be. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep taking action. Massive action movement. I'm out.